So who are you? Hi, my name is Greg Duffy, and I work on a company called Dropcam, and we make easy-to-use Wi-Fi cameras for home monitoring and monitoring the things you love. So I've seen a lot of security cams and connected cams and stuff like that. What makes yours different? Well, we looked at all the products that were on the market, and we decided that they weren't easy to use enough, and they didn't have any features uh, that we thought people wanted to make them more social, share them with the family, share them with their friends, uh, and you know, just get them online easily and start doing things with the video. So give me a sense of, first of all, how much is this to, to, to buy like one or two cameras? Um, so we have two products. One's a video pro video only product, one's an audio video product. They go for $199 and $279. Okay. And we offer free live viewing uh, and, and two recording plans, seven days and 30 days. Okay, so the, the so I get one of these, and it's pre, pretty cool, and it has an Ethernet port on it, yep. right? And it also has uh, Wi-Fi, right? That's right. So I can so, use one or the other, and the quality is the same yeah. if I use Ethernet or Wi-Fi? Yes, yeah, same quality, and uh, you can choose which one you want. And uh, you start out by just plugging the camera in the first time, and from that point on, all the configuration you need to do is on the website. So you just put in your Wi-Fi network and password and your Wi-Fi at that point. Okay. So I put this on my uh, baby's crib, or yeah. I, like I have a mother-in-law who's elderly, and I can put this around, uh, a couple of these around the house so I can watch what's going on. What, should, what can I do with that now? Um, so once you plug the camera in, it's streaming to our service. And that service actually allows you to view from iPhone, uh, from the web, and you can do it from anywhere. Uh, so it's not just within your home like, like some of the cameras that you mentioned. You can view it from outside, and it's full quality. Uh, and it's actually H.264 video, so it's you know, full frame rate, full quality, and it's uh, great quality. So uh, you, know, you uh, at that point, can share it with your friends and family. Uh, just put their email address. Uh, into uh, into our share box, and then they can access the video. Um, you can you can view it on your iPhone. You get motion notifications if you want to set that up. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff you can do with the video once you plug it in, and that's really all you have to do to start. Now, I, I bet a lot of a lot of small businesses will use this for security camera. You know, I I know we've my my brother owns a bar, and he wants to have security cameras around so that if somebody rips him off, he has something to show the cops and stuff like that. Can you, can you uh, tell me about the recorded, because that, I think that's where you add some value, right? Yeah. Um, first of all, how do I pay, is that a free service or a paid service? What, how do I pay for that? So, so the live viewing is free, um, and, and that's on, the, on all the platforms that we support. And uh, we support iPhone and Flash right now. We're going to support uh, Android very soon as well. Okay. And uh, the, the recording plans, um, are $8.95 and $24.95 a month for seven days and 30 days of DVR storage. And that's uh, basically aggregate storage from, from your camera. Okay. And uh, you, you can access it online anytime. You can export clips. Uh, and, and we actually have had several customers export clips to give to the police for burglaries. Interesting. So if I have a camera on the cash register, for instance, and a week goes by, and it, you know there's there's a lot of dead time where there's no movement, no people in the camera. But I want I want to be able to go through through the video and see who's actually touching the cache. Um, can I do that? Yeah, actually, with our timeline interface in the uh, in the DVR, uh, you can see uh, little highlights on the timeline wherever there's motion and skip between them really fast. And on the iPhone, you actually get a list of events, and you can view those from anywhere, even over 3G. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I, on the iPhone, um, I can just see where there was motion, and I can click on it? That's right. That's yeah. cool. That's really <laughs> and, cool. And the iPhone supports audio and video. It's a first-class platform, as will uh, Android be when we release it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how people, uh, how your first users are using this. Uh, so that's what actually surprised us. You know, We thought that it was going to be just a home security product uh, when we first started out. But now people are using it for a lot of fun things, so uh, baby monitoring, uh, we have someone who uses it to monitor family events um, at their vacation home and just keep the video for, uh, for posterity. Uh, they export clips and, and save it. Um, and then elderly monitoring is another big one, which I think uh, you mentioned, because you not only you know, can make sure that they're okay, but you can make sure that your parents are active um, and, and 
and happy, you know, when you're not able to go over to their house every day. Yeah. Um, and we also have people doing pet monitoring, <laughs> which is uh, which is always a fun one. So lots of doggy and uh, kitty cams. So yeah, there, there's not a speaker on here, right? There's a uh, microphone. Right? That, that's actually a, a, a dirty little secret. Is uh, you know we're a software company. We're working on uh, on improving the software for the camera all the time. There is actually a speaker on this camera, and we will be enabling it in a future update. So you can literally yell at your dog when they get on the couch, just like you said. Now that gives me a sense of uh, that you're doing something weird with the camera, that you're able to up update it over time. Tell me about this model, this this new model of hardware, because this isn't consumer electronics where you buy it and you never upgrade it, or you upgrade it once a year when a new CD, CD comes in the mail or something like that. That's right. Tell me what you're doing with the software on the camera itself. Yeah, we like to call it hardware as a service. And basically what this means is that when you buy our product, uh, we're always working on the software and, and improving it, both adding features and fixing bugs, and the updates happen automatically because honestly, we got tired of all the devices where you had to go check the website for what dot release of the firmware you need and see if it fixed your bug. Uh, we, we simply update the camera over the air and, uh, and that happens transparently to the user and they get new stuff all the time. About once a month we release uh, a set of new features or UI improvements or, or things to, that you know, users have asked for. So it's almost like software as a service, um, except there's a device involved that also auto-updates. Now, if I buy five of these for my, for my small business or something like that, do I have a UI that handles multiple cameras that I can switch back and forth between the cameras? Yeah, not only that. can you have multiple cameras in one account, but those cameras can be in multiple locations across the globe. It doesn't matter where they are, and they can all be aggregated under one account, and you can share the cameras with other accounts as well um, if you want your employees, for instance, to have access to a couple. Uh, but you, know, you can do that all through the website, uh, and it's really, it's really easy. You just plug the cameras in wherever you want to, and they just pop up in, on the website. Very cool. The video format, what, what is the stream that you're spitting out, and how does it get to the iPhone? Because a lot of video we think of is flash video, but yeah. this isn't flash, right? Yeah, so we built a, a proprietary and uh, a proprietary backend uh, to deal with wrangling all of this video. Because seven days and thirty days of video is actually quite quite a lot of video, and the video is uh, stored as H.264 and, and streamed as H.264, uh, which is super high quality video codec. You probably heard about it in the in the news uh, quite a bit. And uh, you know we, we store that video uh, on the server side, um, and it's fully redundant. Uh, and the, uh, the the data rate is actually just 128 kilobits per second. So not too bad. The quality is pretty good for that low uh, uh, data rate. I mean, the cameras we're using are doing quite a bit higher than that, but. Um, what, tell me about the specs of this camera. It's not HD, is it? Um, so, uh, you know, we uh, th this current camera goes at 320 by 240, yeah. uh, which is basically this uh, the resolution of the iPhone 3G, 3GS, yep. uh, and we'll work on supporting the 4G uh, <laughs> resolutions pretty soon. Uh, the uh, but at 320 by 240, you get 30 frames per second and 128 kilobits per second H.264. It's in super high quality and it fills the entire iPhone screen, which is good enough for, uh, for seeing pretty good detail. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can I turn it on and off remotely, or is it always spitting video to the servers? So uh, we are adding that feature. It's been a, it's been a you know, pretty highly requested feature, so that's going to be in very soon. Yeah, that that sort of makes sense because, like on my home network, I have two gigabyte, gigabytes up, mm -hmm. gigabits up of bandwidth, and so if I have ten of these cameras, which I you could see having ten, right, and putting them all over the house so that you can actually watch the entire house, that would suck up my bandwidth. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And so if I could turn them on and and or have less frame rate or something like that, that might make sense. Right? So uh, the the cool thing about Dropcam again is that is the software auto updating thing. So uh, this feature will be transparently released to all of our users. And then I'll say one more thing, which is that our company's uh, principles are not are to not make our users have to configure things. So we look at that problem that you're talking about of a low amount of bandwidth, and we say we'll solve that for you. Just give us a little bit more time on the software. Uh, we'll make the cameras uh, use the correct amount of bandwidth for your viewing needs. Yeah. Can I get an alert on my phone that somebody walked into the room? Yeah, so all the um, motion detection is, is both available on the timeline and as events by email or by iPhone push. Okay. 
And is there anything else I need to know about what you guys are doing what, and what I could do with this phone? Uh, with this camera, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, you know, the upcoming things that we have uh, in the next release are a bunch of new social features. So you'll be able to uh, take video from your drop cam, share it through YouTube, uh, share, it through, uh, share it through Facebook and many other video sharing sites. Uh, and that will enable you to, to you know, take, it, take video of your baby, share it with grandma uh, in one click. Uh, you won't have to download it and upload it or anything like that. It's all integrated with the software portion of our, uh, or the, the server side portion of our software. Very cool. Or if your pet does something really strange when you're not there. That's you know, right. Runs in circles all day long. <laughs> well, the truth yeah. is that we had so many people uh, telling us about clips that they had taken from their drop cams that we wanted them to start posting them instead because obviously we want people to see what you can do with them. Very cool. Um, where do I learn more about about this camera and about your company? So it's dropcam.com, D-R-O-P-C-A-M. And how is how are you hosting this? So tell me about the infrastructure that, that we don't see. The, the, yeah. Um, so we uh, we actually looked at uh, Amazon Web Services, but they're actually far too expensive uh, for the bandwidth needs of our camera. Uh, so we went with a company called Softlayer. Uh, we do all of our hosting there. It's it's popular with uh, many Bay Area startups. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have rock solid reliability there, uh, redundancy of, uh, of the video storage, and uh, your data is very safe. It's kept under lock and key, and no one else can see it but you. Very cool. And um, anything else that's cool about the infrastructure that you're building? Because you're doing some pretty cool stuff that to be able to shove uh, updates up to the camera as well as uh, study the world in real time, right? Yeah, we, uh, we, we think um, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we can do um, both on the camera and on the server side for analysis of the video. And you may see some features coming up uh, that, that you know, use aggregate data from the cameras with explicit permission from the users, of course. Very cool. And uh, again, where do I uh, find more information about the company? So it's dropcam.com, uh, D-R-O-P-C-A-M. We have a full learn more, and you can see demo cameras as well. So that's one thing we do that not a lot of companies do. We have a bunch of demo cameras up. Uh, you can see the video quality for yourself and decide if you like it. Very cool. Is there any way to weatherproof a camera and, and put it on the outside of a building? Uh, there are actually uh, weatherproof housings for this particular uh, camera. We're not selling them directly right now, but uh, I think it is uh, our plan to someday release uh, an outdoor camera. Okay. Yeah. And are you on Twitter or Facebook? Uh, so I'm G. Duffy on Twitter, uh, and our company account is DropCam. Uh, and uh, honestly, I, I don't really know my email address on Facebook right now, so Very cool. <laughs> that tells you what, what type of user I am, I guess. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks for uh, showing me this. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for looking at it. We re really appreciate it. Thanks.